Hey, Congressman, how you doing, man? Good. Hey, good to see you, man. I see you guys voted today to, to decriminalize and marijuana kind of moving forward to make it a, you know federally legal. Right. You were one of the only five Republicans on board to vote for it, man. I, I got you're the party of freedom. I got to figure out what's what's going on here, man. Well, I guess um, uh, there's some that see it differently, but it is so clear to me that freedom works, and we need more of it. So what what are you, what are you guys not getting as a well, party? I mean, like the, the problem I see, right? Look, a, a lot of them are opposed to marijuana. I don't approve of it either. I've never used it. We raised our kids successfully never to go near this stuff. I don't recommend it. But we have got to come to grips with the fact that the prohibition laws uh, have uh, created far more problems than they've solved. Uh, they've created a violent underground economy, uh, ruined the lives of millions of young people who've had a conviction for possession in college following throughout their lives. Uh, it just does not work. Are you guys missing the boat, though? I mean, I, I see the young voters were all voting for Biden, not voting for Trump. Is it? Is it? because of stuff like this where you guys aren't aren't kind of grasping what the younger generation's doing i feel like most people under the age of of 40 or 50 are all on board with legalizing and yeah. it's the republicans don't seem like they're quite getting yeah. it yet i you know i can't read mine so i i, I all i can do is tell you that um, we have plenty of experience with these prohibition laws they don't stop young people from getting them in fact i think they make it easier for young people to get them uh, a deputy sheriff told me years ago, you know, uh, I can give $20 uh, to any uh, two teenagers at any high school at random, uh, tell one to buy pot, the other to buy booze. The first one back will always be the one I send to buy uh, pot. They all know where to get it. The dealer's got no problem selling it to them. Uh, the kid I send to go buy booze goes to one liquor store after another, gets carded and gets kicked out. Uh, you know, if we want to keep marijuana out of the hands of young people, and we should, uh, the best way to do it is to legalize it and regulate it as we do alcohol. I, I got to ask you, you know, the, the president was out there. He he uh, he was pushing for criminal justice reform. A lot of these people that they were ref this was aimed at was yeah. was people small small possession amounts, yeah. everything else. Is is that like a he? Is there a mixed message coming on? Because I got I got to feel like the president's trying to it, criminal justice reform. A lot of these people are, had small amounts of weed. And yeah. at the same time, there's no one in the party right now saying, look, if we legalize this stuff, we're not going to have have these people in jail. We're not going to have to deal with this. Man, what's the, what do you think on that? Is that a valid point? Yes, I think it is. I think, I, I think there's a certain inconsistency there. A Republican should stand for freedom. That's where we've always stood. And uh, the closer we've hewn to those principles, the better we've done and the better the country's done. Right. I mean, it, it just one last thing is, you know, I know a lot of people stand up when there's a, a question, when there's a shooting and there's a Second Amendment issue. Everyone will always say, look, you know, it's not the gun. It's the it's the person. It's all this stuff. There's responsibility involved and exactly. it's for freedom. Um, you know, I just I have an issue is if you're saying like we, we have to trust the people with 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 firearms, shouldn't we be trusting them with, with marijuana too? Of course we should. That's, it's a decision that every person has to make for themselves. Um, uh, I've got enough trouble running my own life without trying to run everybody else's. Yeah, man. I appreciate that, man. And thanks for your vote today, man. I know a lot of, a lot of folks out there, it, it's, it probably took a lot of bravery being one of five out oh, there. No, to, no, to... no. I've, I've had this position for years. And, um, I'm... Does it help you from California? You see it a little differently? Because you've seen it first place? You know, I. I What I've seen is the impact that these laws have had. Radish farmers don't kill each other over territory. 